Hello guys, it is me, Starfire 2. Today I'm doing another Battle Royale. This time it's the world again, but it's Pangea. So I have all the continents and a few of the other things. We got Eurasia over here, because they weren't really separated. North America, South America, Africa. This is like Saudi Arabia, but I'm not really going to include that. Okay, maybe I should have. I will, because I included India. So this is like Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, there, okay, so we have Saudi Arabia, India, Antarctica, and Australia, so yeah, we're gonna let them go to the year, uh, 1000, and we're just gonna see who wins, so, all our revolts and alliances, no, eight nations, and mm -hmm. let's start, let's put it to size, I, I feel like Eurasia is gonna be the biggest, because mm -hmm. of its starting position, and it's like, Perfect position to take a ball. It's moving very slowly though, compared to everything else. But it is the biggest, right? Yep, South America. South America is getting lower. Oh wait, Antarctica was just destroyed by India. All right, so Eurasia's fighting, or Eurasia's still the biggest. Everybody's fighting. South America's fighting Africa. Oh, they're pushing in. Africa is being pushed in from every side. Moving slowly. I'm actually going to turn armies on so we can see. Like, who's going to be winning? Saudi Arabia is about to knock out Africa. There goes Africa, destroyed by Saudi Arabia. Two more battles. Eurasia is still the biggest. North America, second. Oh, North America approaching South America. Oh, but they made peace. They made peace. Yes. South America attacking India down here, and so is Australia, with all those armies. Oh, yeah, they're attacking again. Is India about to be eliminated? Oh, there goes South America, destroyed by North America. India, destroyed by Australia. And here comes Eurasia pushing into Saudi Arabia. They're all being pushed in, but who's going to do it? Is that going to be... Oh, they made peace. Nope, they're fighting again. Pushing... Uh, it's just them, but is Eurasia going to defeat Saudi Arabia, or are they going to make peace? Nope. Let's take out South America. So there's only three left. We've got Eurasia, we've got North America, and Australia. So, wait. So Eurasia's pushing on North America up here. With all these armies. Oh, they just made peace. Never mind. But Australia's also pushing. Oh. Some breakaway parts. Here's Eurasia again. They're pushing very fast. I feel like they've made it the bigger the country, the faster they move. Like, I'm not sure, but look at all those armies there. Sheesh. Fighting again. Pushing from the north. America being... Oh, here comes Australia moving up. But North America's pushing back here right here, except for this little part right there. Oh, it's kind of expanding. Here we go. Oh, North America's pushing back, but never mind. This is Eurasia on Australia. For the year 300, 700 years to go. North, North America sold a gap here. And how is that? Oh, wait. Eurasia has a city there, which means never mind. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, that's a North American city now. Eurasia's defeated one nation, actually. Australia. All defeated only one. Hmm. I thought they would have defeated more. Did India beat somebody? Yeah, India defeated Antarctica. Oh, they're actually pushing up North America, but. Oh. Oh. These two are fighting. Oh. Oh, that's detached, but can it get back together? Yes, it can. Look at those armies. Look at all those little armies. And there goes North America was destroyed by Eurasia. So that was just these two. So many armies. All fighting. Ooh, that whole spot was taken. Yeah, sorry for the bit of lag. I have something running in the background.
Oh, so these are pushing up. These are also pushing down right here. That's pushing hard. But oh, all of that was destroyed and taken by Eurasia. Here, there's more combat. There's a ton of armies there. Oh, Australia pushing up armies there, but they've lost this little chunk in Africa, like the DRC. This big, is that? No, that was not part of Eurasia. Fighting? Let's go year 500, we're halfway there. Oh, pushing in, oh! Wait, look at this, they blocked up this, this is now all we're gonna become. Oh! Wait a second, that all got blocked up. Oh wait, look down here. Radius. This is getting dangerously close. Wait, they're pushing back. This part, right there, and they've closed it. Alright. They're safe. So Eurasia's definitely bigger. But Australia has a ton of armies. Fighting Eurasia, gaining a ton of armies here. Stop. Can they squish this in? Squish some of that. All getting so hectic around here. Is it all going to be disappeared? Oh, that whole part became Australia there. They're still pushing down here at the capital. Oh, they're actually so close here. Are they going to do it? They might, they might destroy the capital right here. Oh, they just made peace. How? What? Oh, I didn't even see all this. Foes on that about to destroy the capital. But look, oh, look at all these armies. I don't think Australia has a chance right now. This part is back, but now they're attached, so. Oh. Yeah, they're pushing, pushing. Australia close to being destroyed. And there goes Australia, and so Eurasia from the top. Yeah, I knew, I knew it would be helpful to gain all this territory at the start. So all these guys duped it out. They they managed to take all that. So they only defeated three nations: Saudi Arabia, North America, and Australia. But Eurasia is a victor of the Pangaea Battle Royale.